Hey guys, I'm Evan. Welcome to Country View Solar. And today we're going to talk about putting mismatched panels in series. Now, I don't mean like necessarily different size panels. I just mean they're not exactly the same, like different brands. Like for instance, here we have a 200 watt panel and we have a 200 watt panel and they're different brands. And the problem with that is I think a lot of people think that they can take any 100 watt panel or any 200 watt panel and they can just add those in a series string and they'll be fine. But the problem is each manufacturer has a different amperage and voltage for their panels. So even though they're the same wattage, they are mismatched and it will have an effect on your, your solar arrays output. So this solar panel on the left, this is a new power 200 watt solar panel. The one on the right is a Renogy Shadow Flux 200 watt solar panel. Operating voltage 18.6 and 10.75 operating amps. Now if you take that operating voltage and amperage and you times them together, you will come up with 200 watts for the solar panel. And the Renogy panel is higher voltage, lower amperage. So it's 31.3 volts and 6.38 amps. Once again, you times those two together and you will come up with a 200 watt panel. So for this test, I have them mounted to an EG4 bright mount and I just washed both of these panels. And to see the results of the test, we're gonna be using my solar panel tester. So it's 9-11 in the morning, so we're not gonna have full output from the panels, but if we look at the sky, there is not a cloud in the sky right now, so it'll be a good testing day. So for the new power panel, I'm getting 115.8 watts. And on the Renogy panel, I'm getting 172 and a half watts. So the first thing I noticed is that the Renogy panel definitely does better in low light, uh, outputting almost full power at 9 a.m. And the other one is just over half power. So this is a newer style, style panel. It's in type solar cells. And that one is perk style cell, solar cells. So that may have a little bit that's probably the difference in the output right now. But a lot of people would think if you would tie these two 200 watt solar panels together that they would work seamlessly, the, vo the wattage would add up and you'd have a 400 watt array. So let's go ahead, we'll plug them in together, we'll see what we actually get. All right, we got our solar panels tied together in series and we'll hit the test button here. So if they added together perfectly, we'd have 288 watts. We've got 232.8 watts. Now pay attention to the amperage. It's only 4.51 amps. And then the voltage is a little over 51. So if you remember, this panel was 10.75 amps and this one was just over six amps. And that's gonna be in full sun at noon. It's gonna be a little lower than that now. But what's happening is, is this panel having a lower amperage. That is your flow. That's how fast the electrons flow. And since they're in series, that is basically restricting this one from flowing at 10 amps. So it's it, the lowest amperage panel is the max amperage you're gonna get out of this system. So the Renogy panel, even though it's putting out higher wattage, it will restrict this other panel because it has a higher amperage and it has to, it can only output the same amperage as this one. So we'll head into the blackboard and I'll show you uh, the numbers of how this is affected. So I've got our two solar panels here on the board in series, and this is the operating voltage and amperage on each one. So when they're in series, the voltage adds up. So we would add 31.3 volts and 18.6 volts. And that would be 49.9 volts DC. Now amperage is different. When it's in series, it can the electrons can only flow through here as fast as the lowest restriction, as the smallest amperage. Uh, just think of this as like being like a, this is a pipe flowing water and this is restricted. That means it's gonna restrict the flow through the entire system. So the amperage on this is gonna be only 6.38 amps. That is the max that it can flow. So now we would take the voltage and amperage of the series array we would times those together and we would get the total wattage or the total maximum wattage. And that'd be roughly 318 watts out of this. Two 200 watt panels, most people will think would be 400 watts, but in this instance, it's only a maximum of 318. 
So when you put solar panels in series, you really want them to be the exact same solar panel. That way they have the same voltage, same amperage, they just match, everything will work seamlessly. But if you were wanting to mismatch panels, say you bought these panels, they're no longer available and you wanna add more panels to it, what you need to do is you need to try to find a panel that has as close an amperage as possible. So right here is a 100 watt panel. This actually is not the same size panel. This is an eco-worthy panel and it has 4.95 amps. So right about five amps on this panel. And I believe the Renogy panel was around six amps. So these are really close to each other as far as amperage is concerned. So we could tie these two together and the voltage would add up. The amperage would be the lower amperage. So it would restrict this panel just a little bit It'd bring it down, but the effects would be minimized because they're so close in amperage. So we're gonna take two new readings, one from each one of these solar panels. We'll tie them together and get a new reading. We'll see how close we are. So right now, Renogy panel is 167.0 watts. And the Eco-Worthy panel is 61.13 watts. All right, we got them tied together in series. If these two panels added up perfectly, we'd have 228 watts. Of course, it's not going to because they're not the same amperage. It is gonna drop it down a little bit. And we have 176.6 watts. So even though these panels are only a one and a half amp difference, that difference is dropping the bigger panel. You're losing wattage from the bigger panel, not from the smaller panel. And we lost about 50 watts. So even that close, um, we still had quite a loss in the array. This is why you wanna make sure that your solar panels are exactly the same when they're in series. And if they're not, like I said, you want the amperage to be as close as possible and you will have a, you will have a drop in output. It's not gonna be the rated output of the panels. It's just gonna end up being lower. And I showed you how to calculate that up on the board. So you could calculate up your new solar array and you, you could come up with what the true wattage of what it really will output, at least maximum output would be. So I made this video today just so people know that if you're gonna put panels in series, try to make sure you're using the exact same ones. And I think we also learned that not all panels are equal. I think we showed that the N-type solar panel definitely outputs more panel or more wattage in the morning or in lower sunlight than the perk style panel. Um, so in the end, even though they're two different solar cells, the output is voltage and amperage. It's not like these aren't compatible with each other. You can tie them together, but the problem is they don't match. So it's going to not end up being maximum wattage. So I hope this helps you guys. And uh, that'll be it for this video, guys. So I'll see you in the next one.